Say hello to my friend Tasho. Isn't he cute? Yes. Hello guys, back to YouTube Can. I'm Romeus with Extra Photo. Today I want to be talking about this Tokina 11 to 16 f2.8 with this Kipon adapter focal reducer. Will this work? Let's find out. Okay, so today I'm not going to cover all the lenses with this adapter. If you want to know what kind of lenses will work with this adapter, you can go to their official website and they have a list of it and you can check it out. The very first question people want to ask when it comes to adapter, will this autofocus work? Yes, it does work. I have two cameras, I have two systems. First, Panasonic GH4 and I have this Olympus EM1. The autofocus works quite terrible on this uh, Olympus body, it can focus but it, it's trying to hunt a lot, a lot of time so in the end you will have to do the manual focus with this Olympus body but on the Panasonic body it works much better than the Olympus body the manual focus ring uh, it works terrible with this adapter but thankfully has the similar design to the Olympus lenses is you can change the focus ring to to this like this you can just pull it down and you can change your focus but the extra stops you have to do is you have to pull this down or the manual focus will not work with this it is trying to hunt always trying to hunt and it is not very accurate on the Olympus body okay so the second I want to talk about the people are curious about how does the EF lens work with this photo reducer? Will it have vignetting? Theoretically, it will not have vignetting because it's 0.7, which is 1.4, which is very similar, very close to the, to the FEAC 1.5 crop factor. I want to say that these lenses have vignetting. Vignetting is only only appears on the right up corner and the left down core. I think that's kind of weird because the Canon body has the white dot and the red dot. The white dot stands for the APS-C lenses and the red dot stands for the EF lenses. Because of the distance, so that will cause the vignetting at the right up corner and the left down corner. If you rotate just a little a little bit more then the vignetting will be gone because it, this adapter only can use the position of the EF lenses. Okay, let me just show you a minute. When you comes to like six, 16 to 9, the vignetting is almost gone. It's very clear. It's almost gone. So that's the so that's the good news. Alright, so if you want to use this for video mode, you are almost good to go. Well, how about the sharpness? Well, I would say it is very, very darn sharp. Uh, even at the corner, it is very, very sharp. What would I recommend this? Well, I would say I would recommend this because you know what? The price I got from this is about sixteen thousand NT dollars, about five hundred fifty US dollars. I would definitely recommend this, especially for video. You can also have the other choices for your lenses. You can. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe, share, or any question, leave the comment below. I will see you soon. Peace.